<coughs> so I was looking at the um, ten of the most notorious female serial killers because um, while I was watching the videos on YouTube. Um, about um, killers, usually wives who have killed their own families or their children, just gone mad and killed. I don't remember the names, but um, women who have killed their own families or other people. I noticed this tend to be in uh, Pisces moon or Aries moon and mostly it tends to be Aries moon so I decided to look it up and you know do a quick research I found this article uh, 10 of the most notorious female serial killers and um, okay the first one is this person Aileen Bournemouth and this is her natal chart see the moon is not in Aries or Pisces but she has a Pisces sun and moon is in Libra which is the opposite of Aries I mean it's like two sides of the same coin as the first person though all the people I don't have I don't have all the people because some of them are really we don't have the natal chart or birth details and some of them are really old um, old stories like in, in the 1800s so um, nobody has the even the date of birth of these people so anyways this is the one I lean more knows is Libra moon I decided to do the moon research to see if my hunch was right this is a Libra moon which is similar to Aries so opposite Aries so I can let that go um, this is the other another person Judy Veneno this is like sun and moon in Aries and then Mercury also this is definitely Aries moon I don't remember which one this one was but I did the I couldn't find the chart but this has a Pisces moon uh, late Pisces close to Aries and this one is Jane Tapan this is not an Aries moon but it's a Gemini moon Gemini sextile Aries there's nothing in Aries, but there is one in Sun in Leo, okay. which is also a fire sign. See, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are the fire signs. Okay, this is Kristen Gilbert. She is an Aries moon again. It's the second case. Also has Saturn in Aries. And uh, then Sun in Scorpio. This is the other theme that I have seen. The Sun tends to be in a water sign, and the Moon sign tends to be in a in Aries or in one of the fire signs. This is a pattern I have seen in female serial killers. And then again, okay, this one is Nanny Doss. This one is Moon in Aqu Aquarius. Sun in Scorpio, so again, water sign, uh, sun, and that is also a theme I've seen. Water sign, sun, and the moon is not in Aries, but it is in a sign sextile Aries. And that's Aquarius. We have Gemini, which was in sextile Aries before. And this is the last one I could find in uh, of the ten. This one is in Capricorn which I did not see a theme but it is an early Capricorn and the exact birth time is not known so it could have been 
in very early you know, Capricorn or maybe a late Sagittarius could have been a fire sign as well. So um, I think my, my theory still stands. I would still think that women with Aries moon have this really dangerous uh, cold-hearted killer mentality. Uh, of course people are going to say that I'm you know compartmentalizing or something like that but I don't care this is what I have seen and uh, I have seen it in people I can see it in their cold faces and their cold heartless look that Aries look a flat face and a flat emotionless thing full of anger which is what Aries is Aries is anger and frustration so Aries moon women I'm not going to be trusting you so easily make of this um, what you will okay thanks for listening bye